Welcome to the Joy Fire Department Fire Awareness Safety Team Program, also known as Fast Kids. This week, we're going to talk about the different types of medical safety, as well as the importance and how to call 911. The areas we're going to talk about are recognizing an emergency, using 911, controlling bleeding, and recognizing the early signs of stroke and heart attack. All of these topics are an overview of the basic life safety items that you're going to encounter and we will help you manage through them. The Fast Kids Checklist is something that you're going to use when encountering an emergency. First place, you're going to stay calm. Make sure the scene is safe. Ask if the person is okay. If they are unresponsive, you will look, listen, and feel to see if they're breathing. And of course, call for help. So scene safety. Your safety is most important. You cannot help someone if you are injured. So never put your life in danger in order to save another life. What you can do is call 911. So what is 911? Any ideas? Well, it's a phone number that you can call in case of an emergency, any kind of emergency. And that emergency is basically any situation where you may need help immediately, whether it's from police, the fire department, or in need of an ambulance from the fire department. There is no age limit to call 911. Even kids can do so, but remember it's for emergencies only. And 911 will work from any fault. There are three things to remember when using 911. First off, stay calm. If you remain calm, you're less likely to make a mistake and you'll be ready to listen for instructions. Number two, when dialing 911, stay on the phone and don't hang up until the dispatcher says it's okay to do so. And third, be prepared to give the information asked by the 911 dispatcher. Tell the dispatcher if you need police, fire, and ambulance, the reason why you're calling, your name, the address of the emergency if you know it, and do not hang up until you are told to do so. The dispatcher might need more information from you. So what should you do if you find someone that is choking or not breathing? First off, always remember the Fast Kids checklist. Recognize the emergency, stay calm, make sure the scene is safe, ask if you're okay, look, listen, and feel to see if they're breathing, and then call for help. So what happens if you come across somebody that's bleeding? Well, as always, remember that Fast Kids checklist. And take a look to see what kind of bleeding it is. Arterial, where it's spurting. Venous, where it's just bleeding a lot. Or capillary, which is just sometimes your common scratch. If you do come across somebody who's bleeding, take these four steps in order to help alleviate the issue. You can use a towel, napkin, shirt, whatever it is that you need to be able to put enough pressure to stop the bleeding. So first, you're going to follow the Fast Kids checklist. Then be sure to cover and put pressure on the wound. Elevate it if you can, keep putting pressure, and if you need to, add more dressings to it, but don't ever pull out any objects. The next topic is a little bit more difficult, but we're going to talk about the signs and symptoms of a heart attack and stroke. The first one is of heart attack. They could have chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, weakness, dizziness, and the signs and symptoms of a stroke could be slurred speech, facial droop, unsteady walking, and severe headache. But it's important to know these in case your mom or dad, grandma, grandpa, or whoever starts to show signs you can call for help immediately. Now that we have talked a lot about different types of emergencies, calling 911, let's watch a video on how calling 911 would look and sound like. Joliet 911, where's your emergency? I live at 123 Main Street and I need an ambulance for my dad. All right, it's at 123 Main Street. All right, what's going on at 123 Main Street? Yes, I just got back from school and I found my dad passed out on the floor. You just got home and found your dad passed out? Okay, that's okay. What's your name? My name is David. Okay, David, stay on the phone with me. I'm going to give you some instructions. How old is dad? He's 46. He's 46. Okay, when's the last time you talked to him? I saw him before I left for school. Before you left for school this morning? Okay. All right, listen, he's breathing, right? Yes, he is breathing. 
He is breathing. Okay, take deep breath for me. I'm gonna get the fire department going, okay? I'm the dispatcher, so I have to actually dispatch them. So I'm gonna cut out for a second. You're not gonna hear me, but I'm still here with you, okay? One second, I'm gonna get you some instructions when I come back on the line. Company five, company five, respond to 123 Main Street, 123 Main Street, it can be for a 46 year old male subject there that's unconscious, he is breathing. It's company five, 123 Main Street. Again, 46 year old male subject, unconscious, he is breathing. It's box 525, response five. All right, David, are you still there? Breathing, I'm gonna stay on the phone with you until fire department gets there, okay? Okay. All right, he's still breathing, right? Yes, he's still breathing. He is, okay. All right, I'm gonna stay on the phone with you, okay? They're on their way to you. They'll be there any minute, okay? Okay. Okay, you hear them? Can you see them? Yes, I can see the fire engine and the ambulance. All right, David, go talk to them. All right, good job. Thank you. Sound like. You guys are doing an amazing job, and now let's see what you have learned. Which is not part of a fast kids checklist. Seeing safety, look, listen, feel, freak out, or call for help. You're right. Freak out. We do not want to do that. We want to remain calm. Can anyone call 911? Yes, of course they can, but remember, it must be an emergency. What are the three services you can ask for by calling 911? Right, police, fire, and an ambulance. Keep up the great work, everyone. Stay safe, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.